In this session, we'll take a look at the Group Layout Manager of the Swing Designer in JBuilder 2008, or sometimes called the Matisse Group Layout Manager. As you can see, we've already created our project, and so now we'll just get started by first uh, coming up and out of the Layout Managers, we'll select Group Layout Manager, and we'll drop that onto the frame. And now we'll select out of the controls a label and we'll drop that on the panel and then we'll drop a text field and we'll place that on the frame and we'll use our text alignment and we're going to drag the right hand side of this over to the edge of the frame and this will basically anchor it to the frame so that no matter what we do with the frame or how we resize it uh, the text field will be anchored to the right hand side and now we're going to come in and take a button. And we're going to place this button just to the right of the text field we just put in. And notice when we drop this in, that text field will automatically get resized um, to make room for the button. And we'll change the text on the button to say Browse. And as soon as we do that, it resizes the button and then keeps that text field anchored. So um, there's a nice feature of the Group Layout Manager and, and um, something we can take advantage of in the Swing Designer. Next thing we'll do is take a checkbox and I want to align this so that the left side is um, matches or aligns with the left side of the text field. So I'll just I'll see my guidelines there and then I can drop that in. And I'm not going to change the, the label on that just yet. The next thing I'm going to do is take another checkbox and in this this time I want instead of aligned directly under the previous one. I want the box to be aligned with the text of the previous one. So notice how I have my guidelines there to show me that this checkbox is now aligned uh, with the text of the previous checkbox. So we'll take that and put that on there. And I'm going to take another button and this button I'm going to put down in the lower right hand corner and I'm going to change the text on this to say cancel and I'm going to take one more button and I'm going to put it down here and on this one I'm going to change the text to say OK. So it's a fairly simple layout, nothing real complex, but it gives us an idea of using the Group Layout Manager or the Matisse Group Layout Manager inside the um, Swing Designer. Let's come over and take a look at the source now and as we can see we have the source here and in fact it is using uh, the Group Layout Manager as we can see by the source. So we'll go back to the design and notice you know, again as in, in previous cases that we looked at the source is being created as we go um, and this is um, uh, particularly interesting when it comes to the group layout manager because um, typically if we were using the group layout manager inside um, some GUI builders uh, in fact it wouldn't go from the design right to the code it would go to an intermediate file and then from the intermediate file to the code and if we ever lost that intermediate file we wouldn't be able to reverse engineer it. With Swing Designer there is no intermediate file so in this case it goes right from the design to the code and in fact I can you know go from the code back to the design and I can even take code that was created by another GUI builder and basically reverse engineer that code as well and create the design from that code even if it wasn't created in the Swing Designer itself. That was a very quick look at the um, Matisse Group Layout Manager and Swing Designer.